Good morning. I don't know where he went. There he is. There he is. Look who's walking. Uh, goodbye. So he just recently started walking, you guys, and I just wanted to show you how insane this kid is, which is why we have a boo on our head because he has been nonstop, literally on the move. And he, yes, he's my fifth kid, so I should definitely be used to having to keep a toddler in check. But this kid is like way more wild than the other four combined. I'm not even joking. First of all, he started walking way before any of the other ones did. I think he officially started walking before he was one, but he didn't really start like moving, moving until after his first birthday, um, which is completely normal. But my other kids were just, they took their time. But he was like on the move and ready to go. He's got a little boo-boo on his head from falling in his play area the other day. And I walked away to try to take a quick shower because we have this area that I showed you. We have this area that we baby-proofed, but nothing's really ever baby-proofed. Um, like we have little corner protectors on the windows. We have the outlet plugs. We have cushions everywhere but the only thing we don't have baby proofed are these corners of this shelf i feel like we need to put some kind of like foam there so we'll have to do that because that's where he hit his head uh the other day <laughs> the other day and then he somehow got on one of these cushions that were moved over here stood up on it and fell over, he didn't fall, he literally dove over the fence because he was screaming because I walked away from him and how dare I ever consider thinking about walking away from him uh, and he did whatever he could to get out. So, um, and he did, he did, he succeeded. It was just very scary when I rewatched the footage because we have cameras all over the place and I rewatched the footage and Tim was actually on a business trip in Texas. That's why I just needed two seconds to do something and I couldn't even get that. And he dove over this gate, which is wild. The boy is wild. He's fine by the way. Like he was just upset that I walked away from him. But now we are just constantly on the move. There's no break um, until he goes down for a nap, which is not normally very long. Right, bud? He's like, what are you talking about? I'm just a cute baby. I'm just such a cute baby. So innocent. Uh, and then we just put this in. It connects to right here. So whenever I am, he's like, don't you dare mama. <laughs> so whenever I'm in here, which I'm about to be, I gotta fold all of this laundry. Um, I can sit down and fold the laundry and not worry about him literally running off through the entire house. Cause if I leave him in his play area and he can't see me, then all hell breaks loose. So I ended up having to put uh, corner protectors on the table because this is literally the right height for him to hit his noggin on it. Literally, we're just gonna have to bubble wrap the whole house. Just bubble wrap the whole house. Yeah, the whole point of this play area and this desk right here is for him so he can play and then I can work right here. So I'm literally right next to him. He can see me, he can even touch me. He doesn't need to freak out. Right? Yeah. He's so, so spoiled. So spoiled. You know I'm checking about you. <laughs> Woo! You know that that's the doggy's toy, right? And she's right there whining, wanting to come in to play with her toy. <laughs> You're teasing her. <laughs> Poor Remy.
All right, guys, so we are back to show you another Love Every collection that they sent Jordan in the mail. This is called the Pioneer Play Kit. He's already literally in love with all these toys. So I wanna show you guys up close. Um, this right here is so freaking cute. This is called the Fuzzy Bug Shrub. So it looks like a little, um, shrub obviously and then you just open the top and inside it is some bugs that he can literally just stick on the side of it like that it's so cute isn't that so cute <laughs> it's so cute so that is something that teaches him he can put the bugs inside it and you can also take the bugs, stick them out there, just like nature. So stinking cute. Right now he has the threadable bead kit, um, I think is what it's called. So I'm gonna show you guys. Got the string. What do you do with this? So it looks kind of like a needle that you put the bead through. Boop! Just like that. <gasps> oh, you wanna do it, bud? Look. Can do it. He wants to show you the cars. Let's show them the cars. Whoa! Oh, ready? Go! This is called Race and Chase Ramp. So this is the Race and Chase Ramp. It's got a red side and a blue side. And it comes with a red car and a blue car, obviously. And he loves it. Okay, mommy's gonna put the blue car in. <gasps> wow, yay! <gasps> Woohoo, yay! Oh, two at a time, all right. Job. Can you put them in there? Just like this. Look. Yay! They're so cute. And they just go right through the needle, just like this. So it kind of looks like it teaches them how to make like bracelets and necklaces and stuff. It's so cute and he just loves fiddling with it. Keeps him very occupied and focused. It also comes with the book, Max and Nana Go to the Park. And it's a book about a little boy who goes to the park with his Nana. It's so freaking cute and he loves it. But he loves books in general, so I knew he would definitely love that one for sure. Um, and this kit also came with a super cute puzzle. It's called the Community Garden Puzzle. It's literally the cutest puzzle I have ever seen. It is so cute. It's got the little yellow handles so he can see them. Honestly though, we're, we're practicing the puzzle concept because we are very good at taking the puzzles off, but we are still learning how to put them back on. But that's okay, that's what Love Every is here for. Uh, we have, I always forget the name of this one. This is the Wooden Stacking Pegboard. This was probably my favorite uh, piece that came in this kit because it's these are like all magnetized. Um, they're super fun. And they stack together and then you can wiggle them like this and they don't fall down because they're magnetized, it's so cool. Look at you, bud. Wow. Good job. Oh, tumble. I don't know if you guys, I mean, you probably do if you have a toddler or you babysat a toddler or literally anything about a toddler. They love knocking things down. So this at least gives me a chance to build it a little bit. 
like this. Look at him like eyeing it. Like, oh no you don't, mama. Oh no you don't. It's not as easy for him to tear it to pieces. <laughs> but he still gets the job done. Other way. So yes, that is the end of this play kit. We're excited for the next one. I'm not really sure I have to um, go look and see what is next after this. You guys, obviously we love, 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 love every. That's what m literally most of his toys are. They're so cute. We've got the carrots up here. We've got the little doll. I mean, I love it so much. It's so, it's aesthetic, but it's also literally super entertaining. He loves these toys so much. <laughs> Can you get it? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go wake up Jordan from his nap time. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you got your Baba a gun? Happy boy. You take your sleep sack off. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you have a big nap. Yeah. Dear. Now you got your juice. <laughs> so cute. Oh, Reggie, I'm so glad that you're so patient with him because he loves you so much. Um, and the last one is blue, the leader, because it has a crown. But 
I think Reem's our leader because he's so small. No. Super cute. I mean, cool. <laughs> Never take candy from strangers. Yeah, that's how I turned into this mess. <laughs> yeah, you gave me a green little thing of this. And now I turned it into this. Oh, are you talking about the TikTok we just made? Should I show them? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show them in three, two, one. Remy is whining because she wants to go back outside with Brayden and his friend Brennan because um, she was having fun swimming in the pool with them, but she doesn't know how to swim. So... I'm hoping that you are gonna get tired from like the party and stuff. We're gonna get sleepy. Maybe? No, I'm not. I'm gonna stay up all night drawing green, blue, orange, and not yellow, and purple. Hear me? Hear me? You guys better be them. Like them as in like the characters yeah all right guys so we are all getting ready for Kesley's softball game and we've got the cranky one and cranky two ready to go be cranky, three, then. cranky three is on the toilet he is almost ready Kesley is Am right I cranky there two or is cranky one? you're cranky four yeah, because you're fourth level of cranky. Cranky two is him. Yeah, because oh. you're yeah, fourth level. Fourth level of <laughs> Anyways. Oh, Roman, did you hear? Nobody cares. This. And we're doing a little better today with our womb on our head. Hopefully it won't scar. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see you just do that. I don't know. I'm not gonna fix it, so. More reason to not be mad. What's wrong? 